So here are the strategies for customer acquisition and retention. It's a bit different from what you see on the white paper. I'm taking this from the business plan, which is more uh, updated. So let's let's go into it. Uh, Trips will build a reputation for superior customer service and attention to customer satisfaction. Its essential benefits include the following. One, price. A certain customer segment is sensitive to a lower price, as long as all the other conditions are comparable. In particular, it will be effective to show potential guests and hosts that the very same accommodation for the same dates is present on other platforms at a higher price. Because we charge less money, someone will save money here, guest or host or both. Number two, priority on availability. Bookings from trips generate reviews, which are all real assets, while OTA reviews are ephemeral. This enormous value will incentivize hosts to do all they can to prioritize this kind of bookings. As a result, some dates will be available only on trips, forcing the guests to choose between booking on trips now or wait and hope that the same dates become available on the OTAs and are not booked by someone else in the meantime. Hosts will start to with lower risk dates, top terms, when there is more demand than offer, uh, and later they will move on to a bit more risky dates. In short, we hope that the best dates will be in trips. This is already happening in direct bookings. Um, if you have a, a working website where people actually make bookings, you first try to get those bookings directly. Uh, you can offer a discount to your customer, or you can make mo more money on the same booking, or often both, right? So as is this um, idea that getting bookings from trips is basically like getting bookings directly, even better because you get, you get these objective reviews on the blockchain, uh, then the supply side will do all it can to get more bookings from this system. As a result, they will simply try to keep dates closed, availability closed on the OTAs for as long as possible. Three, personalized loyalty. Platforms like Airbnb and Booking do not send their employees to meet the guest in person. The host does. This gives hosts the opportunity to inform guests personally that they will be able to book the same accommodation at a lower price and in a fairer ecosystem in the future. Basically, we meet the guests. Sometimes, sometimes we have self-check-in, but we meet them. We are the ones which actually give them the accommodation. So we have a unique opportunity and advantage over the OTA to inform them more than convince them, inform them that the next time if they want to book again, they're going to get a better deal or av availability uh, if they go through trips. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe or share. You can comment in YouTube, LinkedIn or directly in the Google Docs white paper page. Thank you for watching.